Welcome to the Vehicle Operations yeah. Manufacturing Engineering Ergonomics Lab. And so, uh, I, this is a motion capture lab, and we actually are part of the manufacturing engineering team. So, where were you guys just now? Were you the Vertec or at um, Elizabeth? Vertec, okay. So, you were down at product development. Um, in product development, they're going to actually work on the components of the vehicle, and then they would release that component design into a team center, which is just a database. And what we do at manufacturing is we then are obligated to look at each of the components and make sure that it can be assembled. So we're like the instruction manual of the assembly car. And our customer is really the assembly plan. We need to process every step of how the vehicle is going to be built. We determine the heights at which the vehicle is going to run down the assembly line, um, orientations, and things like that. So what happens is we do virtual builds, and in a virtual build we'll come to a component and we'll say, I wonder if that can be assembled and if it's going to put stress on an operator when they're assembling that. We can then bring that component into the motion capture lab and into the ergonomics lab. <clears throat> and what we're doing here, if I can have the next slide, um, is we then assess tasks that involve complex motions. So it's not that we bring everything here, but just the ones that are kind of tricky. We also do high profile studies here. So if we, are, um, we were asked to look at a strategy of where the antenna um, should be placed, so then we could bring in multiple vehicles virtually and determine the best location and strategy of where we would have um, the antenna located on all the four vehicles. So you can put as much amount of props. So the great thing about using motion capture, which we borrowed a lot from the movie industry, is you don't have to have a new Fiesta in here. I don't have to wait for a prototype. I can just use hard points. So I can create this and it will match the virtual data set. And you'll get to see a little bit more of that in a, in a few minutes. Oh, you have to go back. This is the Santos one. In addition to walking, yesterday. Santos oh. must be aware of the dynamics associated with full body movement. Specifically, the program I work on deals with dynamic motion of the whole body, doing activities like climbing, pull-ups, swinging, things like that. A good example of a use for my program would be an ingress and egress study, uh, especially in, just say, a four-wheel drive loader, where the operator climbs up a ladder and opens the door. And while he's doing this motion, we're also calculating torque at all the joint, and so we can uh, predict muscle strain or uh, injury to like the lower back. So again, currently today we sit the Jack and the Jill and uh, we're working with the DOD, uh, Department of Defense and the um, University of Iowa and the, the uh, virtual soldier program because the same issues of what are the tolerance of the human is of interest to uh, the army, right? I mean what we want is a really good science inside that digital human model so that when we make it move and simulate, we can then use that data to say, is this acceptable? Some of the cap. So he would actually move forward and reach out to them. Um, Jim's going to give us a view and touch. And then we would be then capturing this posture. And then I calculate the stress on this shoulder and things like that. And you're going to say, well, it's not very stressful. And you're right. But there will be a hose there, so put your hand on the hose. So, wow, you just got a new Fiesta. You're on the other side, you're on the other side. I was going to say, what happened to that Fiesta? <coughs> so in this hose, you're going to say, well, that's not too bad of a posture. And I would say, absolutely. I'm working two to three years ahead of this being in the assembly line. So what I can do now is say, back calculate. If this hose is here, the gun's going to push it on like that. What is the maximum force that we can apply to that? So we can use the biomechanics within the model and say, in that posture, it should be, it can't exceed 17 pounds of insertion. And then that becomes the specification of the target that, that we then bring to the engineering team and say, okay, great location, no problem, we can reach it, but you can't exceed 17 pounds. So it's really now made 
by being able to get a glimpse into the future of the future of how someone build the vehicle, we come to the party with the engineering community as a team member that is uh, putting some constraints that protect us. There's always a, a, a good. Um, the other thing that we found is it means every electrical connector can be put on every time on every vehicle. And that's one of the things we're really, really seeing is that our quality has been really impacted because of the efforts that we're doing in the planning <coughs> of the assembly line. No worries. Let's do the hands first. Let's hands first. Yeah? Okay, why don't we do that? Well, going to get the <laughs> three to three okay. and a half years before job one. So if you take, for example, our Fiesta that obviously we're, we're very proud of, we can't wait to get out there. It is an 011 model them? year code. Um, okay. I can't do Your the head hose. is floating on top and of the fender right we, uh, now. It's not and good. We run the is it we just go, Glenn right. there? Do we want him out further? So like I said, what, what you do is you take the cloud map markers and you put them on top of a figure. Um, so what's happened is somehow... The, in the mapping of the cloud marker you go to, to the figure of the head, we lost it. Here. So, um, <coughs> come in. More? Okay, we need Glenn in here because he's got all these markers on. You are the markers here, Joe. Yeah. Did she open her eyes yet? She's going to fall asleep there on us. <laughs> I think you can open them. I just don't know what you're going to see. What are you seeing? Um, just a nice. Uh, I see that that one that was up there. Okay. Another car. I see the car. There you go. You're gonna get your head on right. Look at that. She just left her head lying around there. You know that saying your mother used to say? You'd forget your head if it wasn't. There you go. <laughs> Jill does a lot. Am I okay here, Jim? So we've got the hose that fails. Will we study here then? You can imagine that if we, <laughs> we study Sorry. the hose in 2007, then you're giving the. Do you want her to put her hands on it and keep it still for a, a second, Jeff? To redesign okay, so put your hands onto here. And then he's going to. Um, typically, he's going to try and ca get the, the cloud marker on to. Months before that. Job Do you think there's system. too many in the, in the capture zone, or are you, you doing good? Performance issues, costs, but if you identify a challenge three yeah, years okay. before job one, it's just long. Okay. So we got two hands there. We don't. Oh, yeah, two hands today. Okay. So take a step forward and touch out to the Ford Fiesta. There you go. Okay. Gotta watch out for that bar. You do, and that bar is lined up to the Ford fed to the fender, so that we would know, you know, how far someone can actually get to it. Okay. So that should be the that should be the cap. That's the cap. That's the hose. And then the far, no, too far over. Yep, there you go. There's the electrical connection. So again, depending on what we want to look at, we would put the props in there. Data. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is the logo right there. Yeah. Obviously, it makes sense from because it's a real product data, you can actually get in and um, get under the hood. You're going right to the fender. There you go. So, like if the engineers change something like on a day-to-day, you guys are... You actually then like, okay, for example, down here we've got a... You actually so like simulate like you would reach in there, even if there was nothing there, just see if you could reach it or like... We, we only simulate things that we need to simulate. So you can put your hand right through the transmission.